Okay, so how you get the uh, Heroes 5 to work? What you need to do is go to um, the game settings and uh, force a use of, of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool and you should choose Proton Experimental. For me, the game did not launch before I uh, changed this setting. Then what you're gonna do when you uh, launch the game, I'm gonna show you when we get to the menu because there are more problems. Okay, so here we are in the uh, game menu and my mouse can't go any further than this down. It just doesn't go there and you can you can't also you can't uh, yeah you can't press anything that's below this mark. So what you're gonna wanna do is change the resolution to whatever and then press the uh, select button or menu button or whatever the button is. It's all already assigned to be an enter key. So when you press that, it changes the resolution and now you can uh, access the whole screen. Then you just go back and enable 800p. And you have to do this every single time you launch the game. But after you after you do do that, it works just fine. Pick my uh, campaign save. Oh, this is a great game. Uh, I have I have not. Uh, I don't know if I have ever played this game, but I love heroes games, and I, this was on sale, so I bought it. And unfortunately, it works with the Steam Deck. Yeah, and the controls are controls are actually really this is really easy to play the right uh, left joystick controls the camera and you can also and the triggers are the left mouse and right mouse or you can use the trackpad uh, as a mouse as well so I can just click the trackpad to give a, give a command so let's skip the turn and um, and you can also press the uh, left uh, trigger or hold the left trigger and then you can uh, move the camera if you want to and the back buttons are uh, assigned to zoom in by default so if I press here the back buttons you can zoom in and zoom out okay we jumped ahead a little bit to a battle and uh, let's just, yeah, we could move these units here uh, before the battle starts, but I'm just going to keep them like that because this is going to be an easy battle. And now I guess I'm going to show you um, this, uh, the settings. I actually play this on my own time. I use frame rate limiter and power limit to 5. And you can see the... Uh, uh, power usage going down and this game plays just fine with 37 frames per second at least at least I think so but it's still you can still get a, a, a lot of time out of the battery with the 60 FPS All right, so let's, kill, let's kill these guys I'm a big fan of Heroes 3 and this game uh, feels pretty uh, similar similar to that I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the sale is still going on, but this was uh, like 250 on Steam Store, so definitely go buy this game if you are a fan of Heroes. Let's zoom, let's zoom in a little bit. Go back to 60 for this video. There we go. So yeah, what can I say? This game runs uh, great on the Steam Deck. So um, you're gonna have a great time playing this game. What? Oh, there's still one left. Oh, 
duplicat. You can also control the uh, mouse with the uh, joystick. I actually uh, slowed down the uh, speed, so it's actually usable even even with the uh, joystick. For now, I'm gonna just choose something because I'm not gonna save the game. So yeah, Heroes 5 works excellent on the Steam Deck. Definitely uh, a game that I will be playing a lot, a lot on my own. So yeah, let's jump to the next game. Alright, so now we're going to check out some Resident Evil 7 gameplay here. First, let's take a look at the settings. Uh, graphics. Pretty much medium here. Let's jump into the game. Alright, so here we are. As you can see, um, seems pretty damn impressive. Let's put the volume up a little bit. Okay, so the first section of the game, or the first level basically, runs pretty great. I'm gonna jump into a uh, different place when we are outside, not inside, because inside it seems to work just awesome. So let's jump to a uh, different area. So here we are, this is the beginning of the game uh, when we are outside, and same settings. So let's see uh, how it goes. Seems to be running very good even here. Okay, yeah, so next we're gonna go, um, let's try to um, put the FSR on and um, see uh, if we can uh, lower the uh, battery consumption by uh, by going 30 frames per second. I will, I'm gonna change some settings and we uh, check that out. All right, so now we are running 540p internal resolution with FSR and um, power limit to 6 watts 30 frames per second of course and uh, yeah you can definitely save some battery playing like this it doesn't feel as good but but if you if you want to save some battery then why not You can also show you uh, take a look at the battery consumption here. If we uh, keep the FSR on, but go back to 60 frames per second. Okay, so let's go a little bit further here. There's Jack. 
Oh, and he disappeared. So yeah, it's just a quick video uh, showing uh, showing these two games, and uh, yeah, that's about it.